The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sins and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sins and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sins and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. By the power in the super power of the blood of Jesus, that blood that atoned for our sin, that make us to become blameless in the sight of God. That blood that through it we overcome the dragon. I decree as a servant of the living God, whatever that may remain in your life that is still troubling you, I decree let them be removed and be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power coming in form of animal in your dream, in form of bed in your dream, in form of torment, attack, evil pursuing, evil Baba, evil Ketra, I decree, let all of them be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. That temptation that's making it to fall and rise, I decree, let them be eliminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, wonderful God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Want to continue in our series, Idolatry in Religion. And we are in the origin of religion. Last week, I told you about the three schools of thoughts on the origin of Christianity. We are going to look at these three schools of thoughts and see the implication attached to each. But before that time, I want to make this categorical statement. Idolatry is so contagious to the extent that it is in the nature of man. Very easy to become an idolater than any other sin. You as a person can become an idol in the midst of other people as a result of pride and as a result of the power of self. And at the same time, you can just discover that you begin to worship other personality as a result of one benefit or the other that you are getting from such. So idolatry is highly contagious. For this statement concerning Christianity, please listen with understanding. There is nothing like idolatry in Christianity, but there are idolatry in Christian religion. You know, I told you last week that to understand and to get to the level of truth on any subject matter is to know the origin, to know the function, to know the intention, and to know the morality, and at the same time, to know the meaning of the nomenclature. The word Christianity is all about Christ-like. That is to say, those that have a counter with Christ, they have given their entire life to Christ, and they see him as Lord and Savior. He is the director of their life. He is the one that is ordering their step according to his will. That is the meaning of Christianity. That is, you are possessed by the Holy Spirit. You are part of the elect. You know, by the grace of God, after explaining the implication about these three sources, we are still going to go to the real source, the origin of Christianity. By that, we understand much about the nomenclature that is called Christianity. But when you are talking about Christian religion, that has a lot of denomination, that has a lot of laws in the name of 
pastors, teachers, apostles, evangelists, and prophets. That they have become principality in the midst of their congregation. Before their congregation will mention Jesus Christ or mention the Bible, the congregation must mention their name or must obey them than obeying God Almighty. Christian religion has a lot of denomination, different type of doctrine, different type of sect, that they have a lot of confrontation, a lot of argument within themselves, a lot of fight. You know, this idolatry is so implicative to the extent that the Bible says in that book of John chapter 16, verse 2, that there will come a time that people will be killing those elect as if they are doing service unto God, as if they are worshipping God. That is to say, idolatry is so manipulating to the extent that some people that are involved in it, they will think that they are worshipping God. And that is why this topic is very important for me, is very, very important for you. Look at what happened in the book of Luke chapter 10. When Jesus Christ sent those disciples to go and preach, they went really, when they came back, they were giving testimony, testimony with pride, that even the demon obeyed them. You understand? They have already become miracle worker. Jesus Christ looked at them, he said, I saw Satan falling from heaven like lightning. That is to say, your pride is equal to the pride of Satan. If you are not very careful, you will fall like Satan. If Jesus Christ did not caution them, you know, Jesus Christ told them and said, do not be happy and don't rejoice because demon obey you, but rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. There are many leaders, even in the churches, because of the little part God has given unto them, they have become principality in that place. Their members worship them. They have become an idol. And that is idolatry in that Christian religion. As I said, want to look at those three schools of thought. Some that believe that Christianity started in the Garden of Eden. If we want to agree with them, to God be the glory. It is good if Christianity started in the Garden of Eden. It's a true worship. God, Adam and Eve received the revelation of God and they obeyed God in that garden until the devil, serpent, dragon, Satan deceived them. And the deception he did unto them, that deception is still present in now. He said they will be like God. That is to say, others will now begin to worship them. You understand? And because of that, you know, I told you, religion is all about receiving revelation and your response by faith or by rebellion. They rebel against God and God pursue them out of the garden of Eden. You understand? The second school of thought said, Christianity started on the day of Pentecost. Yes, it's a very good start too. Because Holy Spirit come upon the disciples. And that Holy Spirit now make them to speak the language of people, which means God wants all people to know him. You understand? He wants everyone to be saved. To God be the glory, the Holy Spirit moves in their midst. They perform miracles. The Holy Spirit is the overseer of the church that was born on that day. All of them are subjected to the control of the Holy Spirit. Even when persecution came, that a lot of them die as matter. They don't deny Christ. They love to die than to be alive and become an idol worshiper. You know, they told the apostles not to preach in the name of Jesus Christ again. They said it is better for them even to die. They are very happy when they beat them and they continue to preach in the name of Jesus Christ because they see Jesus Christ as Lord and as their Savior. But the last school of thought that says that Christianity started during the time of Constantine when they changed Christianity from illegal to legal. 
that time they are exposed to the religion of the Greek. That religion of the Greek become part of Christianity. Christianity was just a mocking statement before. They saw disciples behaving like Christ. They saw them that they are Christ-like. That's why they call them Christian. The Bible says, by their fruit you shall know them. That Christianity before was called people that are on the way. But it became a full-fledged religion during that constant time. What was not in the Bible? Like images. Images that those who worship before, they just change it to image of Peter, image of Mary, image of Jesus. And that is the beginning of the colony. They colonized Christianity. They colonized Bible. And they now begin to spread the political Jesus Christ worldwide. They colonize us to the extent that a lot of us are still in their bondage. We are in their bondage. Somebody acted like Jesus Christ in a film. People see him as Jesus Christ. They are worshipping picture of that man. Some people, they want to sleep. They put that picture under their pillow. You see, in many churches, if you don't have suits and white gown, they may not even allow you to do wedding because we are under colony. You understand? To know some pastor, they must wear suits because we are under colony. To God be the glory that Africa later look for the original Jesus Christ. That is helping us to really pull out from idolatry that is attached to Christianity. By the grace of God, we continue from here next week. Before next week, I decree to your life that the miracle your life has been waiting for shall locate you. Remain rapturable in the name of Jesus Christ.